From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Mining investment firm Mena has officially launched its first portfolio manganese mine called East Manganese, based in Hartzau in the Northern Cape, which is expected to produce its first ore in July. Malone Alnolti visited the mine. While the first ore from East Manganese will be produced in July, the company will ramp up to nameplate capacity of 30,000 tonnes run of mine in August. The mine's 900,000 tonne reserve will be mined over a two-year mine life from a 14-hectare open pit operation. The mine will produce mostly lumpy manganese and some fine material for export. Menor MD Vuslat Bayoglu sheds more light on the company's target markets. Our uh, target is to make 30,000 tonne a month uh, product and uh, we will reach hopefully the uh, nameplate capacity around uh, August this year. Our target market is uh, China, uh, but uh, we also have a market in India so and Europe as well. Uh, it, but mainly South African manganese is actually marketed to China. Most of the product is going to China. It's the biggest uh, steel uh, manufacturer in the world, producing more than 50% of the steel, and manganese is, a, is an important ingredient of steel. So our market is China, and it's uh, uh, like in terms of competitiveness, it's all about supply and demand. Like at the moment, it's uh, the, the demand is strong, even though manganese price is not that high, but the the, the demand is that the demand is strong, and uh, I mean. It, it is actually at the moment very promising for the manganese producers in South Africa. The future looks good. Maynard decided to diversify the group's commodity portfolio in keeping with aspirations to become a leading South African diversified mining company, as well as to take advantage of the high green mineral and metal demand as the world moves to decarbonize its economies. The company remains nonetheless confident about its interests in thermal coal as well as anthracite. Mena chairperson Mpumalelo Mkabela tells us more about the company's strategy. Well, for a very long time we've been focused on thermal coal. Uh, even as things stands now, most of our projects and uh, current operations are predominantly thermal coal and with a bit of uh, anthracite, with the Zulu and anthracite colliery. So we have looked at the future growth prospect for the group. And we thought that uh, given the uh, over concentration of our assets in coal and operations and most explorations are in coal, we would like to diversify looking at uh, globally what the fundamentals look like. So we looked at uh, several trends that uh, could support us in our diversification efforts. And um, among them, we looked at uh, if you look at globally, because of COVID and because of uh, in, in event, even before COVID, the global economy has not recovered from the financial crisis of 2007, 2008. So many economies are still lagging behind their potential. So many governments, as a result, have been putting together what they call stimulus packages. Most of them are driven by infrastructure development and uh, in that uh, construction major construction uh, projects all over uh, the world. Um, you look at the East Asian countries, you look at Europe, you look at Africa. Uh, infrastructure seems to be the key uh, driver for governments to reignite their economy. So if you look at what infrastructure requires, it requires um, uh, products like steel. Um, that's why China steel mills are burning at fever pitch at the moment. And, and among the ingredients you require in steel is manganese uh, and many other minerals. So we, we thought we could target those type of minerals that are required in the efforts by governments all over the world to stimulate economic recovery. The other trend that we looked at is the whole de decarbonization trend. By that, we don't mean that we seek to divest from coal. We'll continue to invest in coal. We'll continue to see through our projects. However, what we're doing is that we're saying, what are these products that are required in the efforts to decarbonize? We recognize that manganese, you know, copper, you know, we don't have lithium in South Africa, but it's one of those products that uh, uh, many uh, companies are going for. The whole surge in the platinum group metals, rhodium and those type of products are required in the making of uh, uh, batteries, modern batteries that can store energy um, and they can use renewable 
uh, energy source re renewable, uh, renewable energy. And even if you look at what is required to build your, your solar plants, uh, windmills, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, steel that is required there. So the whole decarbonization economy that's being created, it requires of us to seek to diversify in those minerals that are required as part of the inputs. The company is looking to invest in more manganese assets and discussions are underway in this regard while it continues to develop more collieries. East Manganese is serving as a stepping stone for the company to get acquainted with the commodity and build expertise in the manganese mining space, Mkabela elaborates. There's a major project we're looking at in manganese and uh, we hope to get some finality about this uh, project maybe in the next 6 to 12 months. And, uh, it's going to be far bigger than this one. So this one helps us at least as a stepping stone to understand the, 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 the details about how the manganese works. And it's, it's actually good because it's a relatively smaller operation, two years lifetime, um, 30,000 ton ROM uh, per month. So that's sufficient to get into the manganese uh, uh, system. And then we hope that by the time we seal the other deal that we're chasing at the moment, and uh, we would have uh, been capacitated enough with understanding how the manganese uh, operate. Because, but we are, it makes us comfortable because coal to manganese, they are all bulk uh, minerals. So from some mining techniques uh, are more or less the same, especially if, you, if it's open cast. If it's underground, it's slightly different because manganese tends to be too much deeper. However, we think that uh, this is enough to introduce us to that uh, uh, manganese uh, process. That's Kramer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.